Hello, my YouTube goobers. Today I'm bringing you a video about the cook for Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Cook is one of my favorite characters to play. It is so satisfying, providing so much information for your team. Cook literally makes matches way easier because of his padlocks and the amount of info he can provide. Let's talk about his ability first. So I am currently running this tree for my ability. Level one increases my recharge rate so I can be able to get my ability back faster. I increase the range by 20% so I can listen farther. And when I'm tracking them and I lock onto them, it will highlight their, the victim in an aura for my teammates to be able to see it. So good tracking, great feedback. Highly recommend this, especially if you do not plan to use your mic. Still recommend using your mic because you might not always be able to lock on because your ability runs out or the victim proceeds to crouch to where you can't lock onto them. So if you're playing cook, recommend the mic. If you're not gonna use your mic, 100% recommend going this route no matter what. Even if you're using a mic, I still recommend this. Now, when it comes to the perks with cook, um, this is the current build that I am running, which is serrated. Whenever I hit a victim, they'll take one HP per second of extra damage for the next five seconds. This stacks per hit. So if you hit them twice, more damage over time, the more hits, the more damage over time. I run security pens, which makes it 50% harder for victims to unlock doors and gates. Definitely recommend doing it prolongs the match, makes it easier for you to protect and guard your objectives. And I run scout for the movement speed, just because if I do need to chase someone, this puts me on equal footing as the victim in most scenarios, as well as if I need to patrol around the map or get to the fuse or the valve, I can get there a little bit faster and I can waddle my happy butt over there. The perk that I use for grandpa is exterior alarms. I recommend this perk on any character that you can get it on. Um, it is the best grandpa perk and it's the only one that you need ran at all times. No other perk matters. Um, if you do want to have run a second perk or have a teammate run a second perk, nobody escapes hell is the next best thing that you can do. But I don't recommend anything other than exterior alarms. The skill tree that I am going down is right here. This is the pathing that I take. Again, it's for exterior alarms. The reason why I go down here, you get scout, you get serrated as well as the padlock one security pins this is the passing that i take and when it comes to attribute points i put my points to max out blood harvesting and then my leftover into savagery you're not going to be doing a whole lot of running so you don't really need that endurance and you have scout to be able to make it far away if you actually need to for the speed aspect of it so it works out just fine the reason why I cap out blood harvesting is because your main objective as cook is, outside of providing info is feeding grandpa. And I'll explain why on, and how I do things on each map here after this, but blood harvesting maxed it out left arrow points in the savagery. And that's pretty much my build for cook. All right, let's talk about padlocks. Now each map, you will have certain things that you need to padlock. Here's my advice for each one and how to play on each specific map family house being the first map we're going to talk about, you're going to end up padlocking the front door, the side door, and the rear porch door. These are the three doors that you'll be padlocking. You start off upstairs in the second story in the middle rooms, right next to a, a blood bucket. So grab that blood, go down the rear staircase, grab more blood if it spawns there, move into the rear porch area, grab the blood there if it's there, padlock that rear door, move into the next room next to the dining room, Grab the blood that's in there as well. At this point, depending on RNG, you might already have a hundred. So you don't need to grab any more. You're going to proceed to the front door and padlock it. You're then going to go feed grandpa, which is either going to spawn to your right or your left. So either way, feed him, move to the side door and lock that. You now have exterior alarms, level one grandpa. Everything is padlocked. So now you can either set up stairs next to the fuse provide comms to your teammates for the victims that you listen into feed that info to them um if their teammates are not using mics then i like to run between the front stairs and rear stairs checking on my padlock with my ability and 
writing info, listening in to victims as much as I can, grabbing blood when I'm either out of ability or they're being very quiet, feeding the grampy. That's kind of what I end up doing on Family House. Hit them when you see them as well, right? Listen for that window to be broken. Side garden valve is, you know, something you might have to pay attention to as well. Let's talk about Slaughterhouse. So Slaughterhouse, you're going to lock down the two gen doors and the right battery door. You start off just outside the gen building. You're going to run up the little steps, open the first gen door, close it and padlock it behind you. There are two blood buckets in this room that you can grab if RNG is good. You're going to run through the next gen door, exit, padlock it behind you, grab the blood next to it if it spawns there. You can proceed through the grandpa shack out into the exterior on the left side of it where the grandpa can spawn near the blue container. There is a blood bucket tucked in the corner on the left side. You're going to grab that, move to the right battery door, padlock it. Blood bucket usually spawns outside of those steps. You'll grab that and head back to Grampy, feed him for those exterior alarms. On this map, I try to stay near the shack area next to the well that's in the middle to be able to listen around the whole map as best as I can especially if my teammates have comms and I can kind of just sit in that area and listen in feed them the information patrol over the sliding door if it's being worked on or the gen side if it's being worked on best kind of spot to be in if they do not have comms I kind of do the same thing regardless except for I tend to be gathering blood a little bit more often if they're not listening to my comms but again with the aura kind of makes up for it in some cases but typically what i do for slaughterhouse gas station is probably my favorite one for cook in general um you're gonna lock the two gen gates and the right battery gate you spawn on the gen side next to the cheese door right next to a blood bucket so grab that before going in the gen area right outside that door is gonna be another blood bucket grab that Head to the right gen gate, padlock it. There's gonna be a third blood bucket if it spawns there next to the container. Grab that, exit the left gen gate, padlock it behind you, enter the Grampy Shack, grab the blood bucket there if it's there, and proceed to go feed Grandpa. If the blood bucket doesn't spawn there, um, or you don't have a hundred by the time you get to outside there, grabbing that one, you're gonna head into the house and grab one of the two that spawns in the bathroom or the like kitchen area and then feed grandpa for exterior alarms you'll then move to the right battery gate and padlock it after you get that done you are going to place your happy butt between the left battery gate and grandpa shack more so if the fuse spot box spawns there because now you get to watch that as well i usually sit between the gate and the shack i check my family ability to see if my padlocks are still up every so often you can pretty much click it pan your camera around real quick see your three padlocks click it again to turn it off and it recharges really quick you don't really ever run out of that sit there listen in for victims mark them when you're able to provide the info using your mic when you're not able to feed your information to your team as best as you possibly can uh, if you're being really sweaty on this map and you have you know a lot of trust in the people that you're playing with or you recognize the names and you know they're good you can also turn the generator off as well and if you decide to sit on the gen side it kind of makes it easier to hear um, but again i only do that if i trust people and sometimes I don't even really have to it's just something that's a little bit extra sweaty you know higher a little bit higher risk if they get through you know but in most cases if you have a good bubba and a good teammate then you can pretty much do that and be just fine um if your team is not using comms you can still sit between the shack and the gate but i do patrol gathering the blood um around the map and patrol the gates a little bit more frequently and then obviously if you need to get to the valve or fuse you run your happy butt over there oh by run i mean waddle um but that's typically how i play each map for cook Some general advice that I would give for Cook is to remember to always feed the Grampy. You want that level one exterior alarm perk. The sooner you get it, the better. If your teammates are running perk, then bummer. Hopefully the RNG is in your favor. 
um if it's not then you might be grabbing more blood than tracking just to get back here your alarms up because it is a game changer <clears throat> maps like a gas station has a cheese door right so if they get through one of the gates to your gen area you can take the padlock off the other one and move it to the cheese door highly recommend doing that if they do get through another tip with padlocks too and i'm pretty sure this is probably an exploit at this point um devs haven't really mentioned anything about it but you can reset the progress on padlocks by taking it off and putting it right back on so if a victim is working that you know door and you see them working on it you hit them off of it you take your padlock off put it right back on and it resets the progress so they have to do it all over again so it's probably an exploit but hey you do you another big thing that i highly advise you not to do as cook and i will make fun of you laugh at you and know that you are a very bad gamer is if you waddle your butt down to the basement as cook at the very beginning of the game do not do this it is the most useless thing that you can do grab the blood put your padlocks on be the information to your teammate you are so slow you cannot catch victims that well even with scout you're like the same speed as them maybe slightly faster and if they don't make a mistake you're not gonna catch them so don't go down to the basement end game one victim left two victims left and you want to go down there to block a gap for, for them to come out of because your bubba's chasing them sure not in the very beginning though don't do it i also do not recommend playing cook for kills go play anyone else more your best option would be leatherface and if you're feeling spicy then johnny because every other character is not great at killing they are best at protecting gathering blood and forcing the victim to go in another direction so that leatherface can get the kill when in doubt and you have nothing to do always be listening when your ability is up and remember that you can also hear the generator when it is turned on so like i said on gas station you can turn that sucker off if you're feeling pretty spicy about it and you have that trust in your team that is my information that is all the information that i can provide you on cook he's one of my favorites to play i love the tracking it is so awesome and it's so game changing it helps out so much please use your mic as cook if you can't use your mic please have the third tier aura obviously if you're leveling it up then you do the best that you can do but he is one of the strongest characters in this game because of the padlock and his aura reading you'll have a lot of fun with him if you like providing information to your team and being strategic and just helping being like the team support that is cook hope you liked the video Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, comment down below if you have any questions. You can also stop by any of the platforms that I stream on, which is uh, Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and Trovo. Any of those you can find me and ask any questions while I'm live as well. Hope you all have a good time. Have fun with TCM and enjoy.